In this video, I'll show you a hack on how to transfer images from the Instax Mini Evo that you have not printed into your smartphone. The main point of the Instax Mini Evo camera and the other Instax cameras is to make cool prints like these, like physical prints that you can share with people. But sometimes you just want to take the digital images off the camera as well, so you can share them easily on Instagram or uh, via email. So transferring the digital images from the camera is important, not as important as the print quality, but it is something that uh, is worth looking into. So here I have a cool image that I'd like to transfer into my smartphone, but I haven't printed yet. So I don't have any film in the camera right now. So when I try to print it, it will tell me that I don't have any remaining film. I need to load a new film pack. I can't transfer the image to my smartphone because when I go to menu and then go to printed image transfer, this image doesn't show up in this uh, history. There's no way for me to transfer this image from the Instax Evo into my smartphone without printing and using uh, the expensive film. So let's look into this hack. So my first idea is to load an empty cartridge into the camera and try to fool the camera into thinking that I loaded a new uh, film cartridge and then uh, print on the empty cartridge so I can then transfer the images into my smartphone. So let's try this right now. So here I have a used up film cartridge. Let's put it in there. Close the film door. The camera is trying to now eject the dark slide and it's still showing me that I have no film. So let's try to print the image. So let's find the image that I like. Here's the image of the motorcycle. I don't have any remaining film, so I need to load the film back. So somehow the camera knows when you load the empty film cartridge that you did not load a full film cartridge. So let's try to circumvent this idea. Let's try to fool it. So to do so, let's Let's get the empty film cartridge back out of the camera. Let me take the dark slide from a previous film pack. Let's uh, rip this thing apart. All right, and let's slide it back into the film cartridge like it was in there before. So this is sometimes a little bit tricky. We gotta lift this flap right here. Like that. So we lift, we lift this piece of plastic there, and then we can slide this dark slide back into the foam cartridge. Just like that. So now we have an empty film cartridge just with the dark slide on, on the front. So let's try to load this into the camera now. So align the yellow dots and close this. Now the camera should eject the dark slide, just like that. And then there's a film cartridge with no film behind it. Okay, so let's turn on the camera. Ah, so we were able to fool the camera. Now the camera thinks that we have 10 sheets of film in there because it ejected the dark side. So now let's try to fake print some pictures. So we go to playback. Find the picture that I like. So here's the picture with the motorcycle with the retro film look. And now let's try to fake print it. Okay, so now it's trying to print. So remember, there is no film in the camera. So it's printing, 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 printing. Nothing comes out because there's no film in there. And it gives me print error, turn off the camera. So let's turn off the camera. I turn the camera back on. Okay, and let's see if it's in the print history now. So let's go to playback. Menu, printed image transfer, ta-da, it's there. So now I can transfer this image into my smartphone. So now I have the smartphone with the Instax Evo app. So now we can select this image that we fake printed. Now it's selected, we can hit the plus button to transfer. Now it's transferring me from the Evo into the smartphone. It takes always a little bit. And here it is. So now we successfully transfer the image into the smartphone from the Instax Mini Evo without wasting any film. So we did have to essentially print the picture, but it was like a fake printing. So now that I have my picture here, I can go to edit and save. I can change the background, but for now I do black and I hit save. And now this picture is in my camera roll. Since we got the print error message, the amount of sheets that the camera things are still in the camera did not go down at all. So you can repeat this process as many times as you like. You just have to turn on and off the camera between 
each time you print because you'll get a print error. And then once you're done, you can load the film and use the camera as usual. If you enjoyed this video, consider to subscribe. I have a lot more videos uh, coming out on the Instax Mini cameras. I'll be comparing the Instax Mini Evo to the Leeplay and the Evo to the Instax Mini 90.